Let's go back to another important story. You have the lead on it. You broke it on Monday. Uh, Chinese, Chinese Communist Party is spying espionage on the Federal Reserve Bank, um, going after Federal Reserve researchers and staff people in Beijing as well as here. Uh, I think money payments are made. This is a very nasty story. Uh, I don't know why Jay Powell is denying it because it goes back to 2015. But can you shed some light on this story? This stuff is out of a John le Carre novels, like Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. <laughs> Well, it's, it is, sounds like out of a novel, but unfortunately it's reality. And by the way, every sector of our economy and every sector of the research enterprise has been subject to this over the past two decades. And as you know, I've been working on this for a number of years. We did an in-depth investigation. We did a report. Uh, we have legislation to try to address it. But the Fed is just the latest of institutions that have been targeted by the Chinese. And it's not the Chinese people. It is, as you said, the Chinese Communist Party. It is a deliberate effort to find information that they want that's valuable, and certainly the Fed has valuable information. Uh, but also, with regard to our research, a lot of it's taxpayer paid. In other words, the taxpayers put money into research, as we just did with regard to the CHIPS legislation. And then China, through some of these programs like the Talents Program, comes in, gets the research, gets the researcher, brings that research or intellectual property back to China, and leapfrogs the United States of America. It's helped with the rise of their military and their economy, and it's hurt ours. So, it's across the board. It's, it's health care, it's financial services, uh, it's the manufacturing economy, it's certainly our military. So this is where the Fed needs to be given a wake-up call. And I think they do a wake-up call now. They've already made some changes, they're trying to tighten it up, and I think they'll do more. But you think there's still some people out there, some Fed people that are taking money from the Chinese CCP or are sharing information or are sharing models? In other words, I think a lot of people want to know from your work, has this problem been solved and eradicated from the Fed? Well, take a look at the report. The report is based on a, uh, actually a, a Fed study itself and the FBI. And what that report shows is that there have been a number of instances. We talk about some of them, not all of them. Uh, we do it on an anonymous basis, but we think it's important to get that word out there. And, and I do believe that this is going to result in the Fed tightening up their procedures, which is appropriate. That's the world within which we live, Larry. This is uh, the 21st century where we're constantly being uh, bombarded uh, by probes from uh, various governments, but particularly from the Chinese Communist Party, as you said, to try to get information. Uh, we've seen the hacking. Uh, we've seen you know, what, what's happened in corporate America. The same thing happens on the governmental side. And the Fed is not immune from this. Do you want to play the lead role in the uh, La Carre movie? Do you want to play the? Do you want the George Smiley role? It was Ga it was Gary Oldham, but maybe you want to play the next movie. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I'm, I'm more like a second. Maybe I'm the, the guy in the background, kind of shuffling along, uh, trying to trying to do the investigation. All right. Um, well, anyway, we'll thanks for thanks for raising the issue, Larry. And, and look, we, we we need to face it. This is a wake up call. I hope for all of us that uh, this is a real problem, and we've got to tighten up our security procedures to be able to protect information. All right. Senator Rob Portman, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, Larry. All Take right. care.